Hey guys, this is Aiden Strew with Strew Family Farms and we're back out here today in our organic cornfield doing our first pass cultivation, uh, getting our corn cleaned up. So just wanted to give you guys a view of kind of how the corn looks, how the weed pressure looks and kind of cultivator setup and whatnot. So as you can see uh, out here, corn's looking pretty good. Uh, very happy with what we have so far um, in our stand and just kind of overall uh, situation. Um, so far, this field has had two tine weeding passes, one pre-emerge, came through four days after planting and level everything off, uh, got rid of all the wheel tracks and furrows and whatnot, and then uh, came back through uh, about a week ago when the corn was about six inches tall and did our first post-emerge pass. Uh, and that pass was really slow and tried to be pretty kind of meticulous and uh, gentle to the crop. Uh, you can see, the stand's still pretty good. There's like just, you know, a couple holes here and there. Um, and that would all be from our tine weeding passes, either the first or second one. Uh, most likely it's the uh, post-emerge pass. Uh, that first tine weeding pass when the corn's really small and out of the ground, that's when you're going to do the most damage. And so that is why we plant heavy uh, to accommodate for that. So we're still left with a pretty darn good stand of corn. There's only a couple low spots where it was a little cloddier, and so the stand is slightly thinner than this, but for the most part, uh, it looks pretty good. And uh, corn has good color, and uh, yeah, it's about a foot tall right now. Uh, if we look down, you kind of see it's like mid shin, about, so about a foot, maybe a little more in some spots, but yeah, we'll give you kind of a view. Um, we can kind of see some of our weed pressure. Uh, this part of the field's actually pretty well, right here, we're right along our hay field. Uh, and so this does have a little more weed pressure from weeds on the edge uh, compared to if we come in here, we can see very little weed pressure. So we can kind of look at this weedier spot and see how it's doing uh, here in the back. And so I'll just show you guys kind of our setup. Um, you can see I, I have actually lifted up the shovels and set it back on top of the ground so you can see how wide they are. Um, and what they're doing because otherwise they'd be down on the ground but I put brand new shovels on this cultivator this year and uh, these are actually almost 21 and a half inches wide and so uh, significantly wider than the older ones they were 16 inch sweeps and these are uh, I think they call them 20 but they actually measure 20 and 3 quarter uh, between and so if you kind of look from this side between our, our corn rows here uh, there's not much not much width and so uh, or for example like next to the shield you can kind of see there's really only about an inch or two at the most from where that shield lands in the edge of the sweep down in there so uh, I just wanted to get the cultivator doing a better job obviously is why we put the shovels on and it will I mean it's cutting out way more uh, width obviously than 16 to go to 21 I mean, you're looking at an extra five inches per row. So that's a lot more cutting width. So it's gonna do a lot better job this year. Uh, I probably, looking back, wish I would have done it last year, but it was the first year with this cultivator and tractor. And I was just really nervous about cultivating all my crop out with too wide a sweep. So luckily I'm feeling practiced up enough to the point where I haven't really, uh, haven't plowed much out at all or had much cultivator blight. Um, for those who know what that means. But yeah, just kind of give you an idea here. This sweep's sitting on the ground nice. Uh, like I said, these are 21 inches wide. So I only have about nine to eight and a half inches between sweep to sweep point uh, that's not getting cut uh, between my rows. So you can see I slowed down here so this part doesn't look as clean. But if we come back and look at these rows, um, this corn is looking very clean, very happy with it. Uh, I will say this this half of the 70 acre field was alfalfa uh, not last year but the year before last year it was soybeans this year it's corn so second year rack back in row crop and uh, that does help tremendously to uh, help with the weed pressure so that's why this part of the field uh, does look so good um, I'm not going to tell you the whole field looks like this because there are some spots uh, where it was beans actually two years in a row because we got so late we had to switch it from corn to beans last year but that should not have happened so that's why there is heavier weed pressure uh kind of over there but 
Uh, still, with it being corn, we're gonna get it cleaned up pretty good, and I think we'll be looking fine by the end of the season. So, yeah, just uh, giving you guys an overview. We're running the shields just barely. Uh, they're up off the ground a little bit, uh, just to help with any bigger clots, catch them. But otherwise, uh, yeah, running along at about six miles an hour, so we're moving pretty quick. Uh, I got the sweeps running pretty flat for the first cultivation. Uh, as you can see, there's really not much furrow at all, uh, or ridge, I should say. Moving very minimal amount of dirt, just getting everything sliced off in the middle, throwing a little bit just right up in the row. And uh, yeah, you can see it's cleaned up very nice. Like here's one itty bitty weed that did not quite get buried. Um, and so he will get buried on our next cultivation pass uh, here in a week or two when the corn's about a foot taller or so and uh, he won't be an issue but you can see this buttweed sliced right off and uh, yeah looking really good so that's what we got going to guys beautiful sunset nice hayfield coming up second cutting so thanks for watching